Hello everybody, my name is Zul, and welcome to modding Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Alright, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get the movies in KOTOR to play at 1080p or any other widescreen resolution. Now, if you've watched uh, a lot of my videos, you may have seen that I have a video on how to get the game to run at 1080p. Uh, getting KOTOR 1 to run at 1080p isn't actually very hard. You can achieve this very easily with a program called Flawless Widescreen. I will put a link up somewhere on my screen and an annotation that will take you to see that video. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't fix the problem of the cutscene. Uh, that's when the Ebon Hawk takes up all that kind of stuff. It will still play in a very small resolution and it will often alt tab your game. Uh, also, if you're using a recording program such as Fraps or DxTory, this can cause your game to crash while you're recording the game if you have it running while the movies change resolutions of the screen. So in today's video, we are going to be getting those videos to run. Uh, let's get started right now. The first thing we're going to need is to download some tools. Uh, the first set of tools are the Rad Video Tools. I think I've covered these in another one of my videos. Uh, it's a video on how to get the cutscenes into an editing program and how to view them. Uh, you can download this tool, there's a link in the description. Just go ahead to this button and click download and it will go ahead and download it. We are also going to have to download a hex editor. Now if you don't know what that is, don't worry, but it's what we're going to be using to make the movies run properly. So go down to the links in the description and download the hex editor in the language of your choice, in my case, English. Uh, all you got to do for this is go over to the English one, scroll over, and then download with one of these options. I'm just going to click right here and it will download it for me. Now there's going to be a few other things we're going to need, but we're not going to worry about that quite yet. We will come back to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install Rad Video Tools and we're going to open up the hex editor here and run the installation program. Now, that's very simple and I'm not going to be covering that because it's just installing a program so just follow the prompts and you should be able to get through it. And once you do, you will have these two programs installed. We can see them right here on my desktop. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the Rad Video Tools. Uh, then we are going to locate our movies for Night Seals Republic. So to do this you must find the location of your Steam folder. Uh, I'll put a default location to the KOTOR installation, but in my case it is D Steam Steam Apps Common SW KOTOR. Once you find this folder, you're going to want to find your movies folder. This is where all the .bic files are. Uh, you will see them right here, 0A, 0B, 0C. Uh, so if you see these movies here, that's what you need. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to click on the first one, scroll all the way down to the bottom, shift click, and click on the last one. Now this new one, uh, this shouldn't be here, this is just me testing something earlier. Uh, but once we've had all of these selected, uh, we are going to go ahead and click the Bink It button right here in the bottom left hand corner. Click on this and it's going to ask you if you'd like to batch process them. Click Yes. Then it's going to ask you for a location to output on. For this we're going to need to make a new folder and I'm just going to make it on my desktop here. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it New Movies. Uh, you can really call it anything you want because this is just a temporary folder. Then we're going to hit this Browse button here. Uh, we're going to find our desktop, which uh, is just right here. And we're going to select New Movies. So now it's going to have the location of all the movie files outputting into this New Movies folder. Now we're going to need to mess with some settings. So basically you're going to want your settings to match mine. Uh, by default you're not going to have anything entered and you're going to need to add your resolution. The resolution is going to be added right here on the bottom right hand side. You're going to need to select the width which is the pixel width of your monitor, in my case 1920, and the height which is 1080. If you have a different resolution of monitor, enter this. You want this to match whatever you're running the game in. Now obviously I can't test all the other resolutions out there, but if you've managed to get the game running in widescreen in that resolution, you'll get it to work. The second thing you're going to need to do is make sure that compress audio is checked. Now if you look online, it's going to tell you to uncheck this file, but thanks to my friend Miles Tails on the uh, LucasArts forums, I have discovered that unchecking compress audio will actually remove the audio completely for KOTOR 1. This is actually very, very problematic as all of the movies will be completely mute. And if you make a mistake at this point, it's going to take several hours possibly depending on the strength of your computer. 
You can go ahead and set the compression level. I have it to four, which is barely lossy. Now it doesn't really matter. You could also have this set to zero, but you don't want it to be too much because you want these to look and sound good in your game. After that, uh, we're pretty much good to go. So we're just gonna go ahead and click the batch button and process it. It's gonna open up this window. Now, we'll notice how there's no commands actually. I don't know why it does this, but I've noticed that if you click the help button, uh, it'll launch uh, a window there, but it'll also input all of your batch commands. Now, if we take a look at these commands, we'll see that it's going to convert, uh, for example, 01c.bic into new underscore 01c.bic. Now, this is unfortunate because it's going to require you to rename all of your movies to have the correct names so that they work in the game. Now this is really inconvenient, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to open up a new Word document. So just new text document on your desktop. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm right clicking, just hitting new text document, and that's it. Opening it up. I am then going to click here, go all the way to the top, and select the entire thing. Hit copy, and paste. So now I have it all in a text document. We are then going to go in just the basic text document here to edit, replace. We are going to find where it says new underscore, just like we see here in all of the naming convention. And we're gonna replace that with nothing. Go ahead and click replace all. Uh, now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you check and see if this works. So as we can see, see user Zool desktop movies, zero A. And if we scroll up here, we will see 0A is actually the name of the BIC, so that's correct. After you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to select all of these again. So we're just gonna drag our mouse across. We're gonna cut. We're going to select the entire batch, and we're gonna paste that over top of it. And as we can see, the naming conventions are now correct. This is gonna save you a ton of time later. Now, uh, we don't need to save this, by the way. We can just get rid of it. After this, we can go ahead and click Start. Now, I'm going to warn you right now, this is going to take a very long time. In my case, and I have a pretty good computer, although I was using it at the time for various other tasks, it took me over an hour. So I would actually recommend that you do this right before you go to sleep, if you leave your computer on, uh, before you go out for work, something like that. Allow it time to process through this entire batch because it's going to turn every single movie and upscale it to 1080p. Go ahead and hit start. And now it's just going to go like this, and you're going to basically see some information here. Now it's just gonna go through this for every single batch here, but I've actually gone ahead and done this already, so we're just gonna skip to the next step. All right, now after that very long time, we will have a full set of BIC movies here. So this huge list of them, they're all in 1080p, they've all been upscaled correctly, but we still don't have them in our movies folder. So now what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to find our Knights of the Old Republic game area. This will be in Steam, Steam Apps Common, SW, KOTOR, Movies. Uh, and we're actually gonna back up our movies before this because in case something goes wrong, we wanna have those original files. So just copy and paste. You'll have a folder called Movies Copy here. Uh, it's always a good case to back up anything you're doing just so you can revert back to it. This is basic modding right here. So you can see I have copies of my override file as well. So once that's done, we can go into the movies folder, select everything, and just go ahead and delete it. We don't need that anymore. We're then gonna copy our HD movies. Uh, we're not gonna cut just in case something goes wrong. We wanna keep these files here because they do take a long time to render. And we're gonna paste. Uh, this will take a few moments, so I'm just going to skip ahead. Okay, now we have all of our HD movies moved over to the SW KOTOR folder, but if you try and launch the game and run it, it's not going to work, and that's because we have to edit the executable. And here's where it matters what version of the game you have. If you have the Steam version of the game, you're going to need to actually go ahead and download a different executable. If you have the retail version, I'm not sure if this step is required, it might be, uh, but you can go ahead to the link in the description and download this. This is the Knights of the Old Republic fixed executable by Fairlight. To download it, you just click right there and it's going to open up a little advertisement. I'm just going to leave this page. I don't have ads running when I make videos. And we will have this. Go ahead and extract it and you will get a folder here with an executable. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the hex editor HXD and we're going to use this to modify some hex values in order to change the resolution that the movies are going to play at. But before we go ahead and do this, I'm going to do a little bit of explaining just so you understand exactly what it is we're doing. On the top of my screen is the hex decimal string that we're going to be editing for KOTOR 1. The bolded pair of numbers at the beginning and the bolded pair at the end represent the resolutions. On the bottom here, fading in, is the resolution that we want it to be in. So that means the first pair is the width and the second pair is the height of our monitor within this large string. We're going to be taking a hex editor and we're going to be going ahead and changing the numbers from the top to the bottom. But I'm going to also show you quickly how it is we are going to convert the hexadecimal numbers to the right resolution. For example, if you don't have a 1920 by 1080 monitor. And to do that, we're going to be using a little tool. In order to discover exactly what the hexadecimal value is for your monitor's width and height, we're going to be using this binary to hexadecimal converter. Uh, shout out to Miles Tails who pointed this out on the LucasArts forum. And basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be entering under the decimal column the width of our monitor, so in my case 1920. It's going to give us three numbers. Now for our purposes, because it's two pairs, we are going to need four numbers. So just add a zero in the beginning and write this number down, so 0780. Then we're going to have to go ahead and use the width. So if I have 1080, it's going to give us this. Again, add a zero at the beginning and write it down. 0438. All right, so now we have our new values on the screen here. And what we're actually going to have to do now is reverse them. So we're going to take the ending pair and we're going to move it to the back and we're going to take the beginning pair and move it to the front so that it matches up how it is in our finished hexadecimal string that you can see on the bottom of the screen. So it's actually going to be 8007 instead of the other way around and 3804. So whatever your numbers are, go ahead and flip the pairs in order. Now this is just a little quirk of the way that it works, but if you do it backwards, you're going to end up with some wrong resolutions. Now that I've thoroughly explained this concept to you, I'm going to go back into the hex editor and I'm going to walk you through changing the strings. Alright, so we're back on the desktop. We have our folder here with the new executable. We have HXD open and we're also going to need one more thing. We're going to need the forum post that was originally what I'm basing this video off of. And if we go down on this forum post, it'll be just like this on the LucasArts forums. Scroll down until you find this little update box here uh, with a thanks to Kanzerus Prime who discovered the hex coordinates for KOTOR 1. We are then going to select this first string here click copy and minimize this so we'll have to go back there later so don't close it out we're then going to drag our executable and just drop it into the hex editor we are then going to hit control F change the type to hex values and click paste and we will see right here is the correct coordinates now this is where we're going to enter in our reversed resolution coordinates so that's the thing I explained previously in my case 8007 uh, will be the beginning. Uh, make sure you try not to lose your place, so 0, 7. And then 3, 8, 0, 4 will be replacing, uh, I'll have to go back really quick to look, E, O, O, 1. So let's just scroll over. Here's the E, O, O, 1. We're going to put in 3, 8 and 0, 4. Then go ahead and click save. Uh, you may want to back this up, although this is a different executable, so it doesn't really matter. You can just go ahead and re-download it after. But I'm going to hit save. And then we're going to do the same thing for the second set of default coordinates, which is right here. I'm going to go ahead and click copy. I'm going to open up the hex editor once again and click control F. Make sure this is still set to hex values. Paste. Click OK, and it's going to give us this location right here. So let's just uh, sorry, let's just get this found one more time, right there. And as we can see, we're going to have to replace this again with the same numbers. So 07 uh, goes right here, 07. And then we're going to replace this location here, the E001, with 3804. All right, so now we're almost done. Uh, what we're going to now do is move the new executable into our SW KOTOR folder. So I've already showed you where that is, so I'm not going to show you again. But we're going to actually select the old executable, hit F2, 
and rename it to dot old. This way we can always restore to a backup if something goes wrong. We are then going to take this new executable copy and we are going to paste it in here. Uh, I'm also going to right click on it, go to properties, and I am going to go to compatibility. I'm going to check this and I'm going to run this in compatibility mode with service pack 3. This is actually very, very useful as it can prevent the minimization error you may sometimes still get with the changing resolutions of the game. After that, all we gotta do is launch the game and go ahead and test it out. Alright, one last thing that you may need to do, if you didn't follow my 1080p video, uh, you have to make sure that the INI file, which is swkotor.ini, uh, has the correct resolution in it. Uh, most of you will have already done that. If not, just go ahead here, go to graphics options, and change it to 1080 by 1920. And that's pretty much it. You can then save that and you'll be good. Uh, now, sometimes this will get reverted back. Steam has a habit of messing with things when you mod them sometimes. So I'm actually going to recommend you make a backup of the new executable and the HD movies. So this is the new executable. This is the one we edited, changed into service pack. It is an exact copy of the one we just used. And this folder is full of all the movies. And I'm just going to take these, throw them into a folder, and I'm going to put this folder somewhere on my hard drive. Just maybe even just right there for now. And if anything goes wrong, I can just add those two quickly back into the game. Of course, changing the HD movies folder into the word movies. And I can have my game up and running with the 1080p movie clips once again. Alright everybody, well I just went ahead and tested it and I found that it did indeed work following the exact steps that I showed you. So that was me going through it, launching the game, and everything worked perfectly fine. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And if this video was helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. It does mean a lot to me. It keeps me motivated to make these new videos. Uh, a couple of other things. If you are interested in uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, you can go ahead and check out my Let's Play. I have a lot of mods in that. and. Uh, uh, some people seem to find it quite entertaining. If you check that out, it would mean quite a bit to me. And you can also check out some of my other modding videos. I do a lot of other games, Oblivion, that kind of thing. So if you go ahead and check those out, uh, I would, again, appreciate it. Now, this is basically me just begging, so I'm going to end the video right now. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry for the long outro, as always. And I have been Zool. Have an excellent day.